Have you ever stopped to think what truly powers your phone, your car or even a rocket? It's tiny, invisible brains called semiconductors and right now the world faces a massive problem, a global chip shortage that has cost industries like the auto sector an estimated $210 billion, like a crucial missing piece in a global Jenga tower. This is urgent because 92% of advanced chips are made in just two countries, Taiwan and South Korea, a major global dependency. But what exactly makes these tiny brains tick? Semiconductors are special materials that can precisely control electricity, acting like smart bouncers, deciding precisely who gets in and out, essential for building the on-off switches called transistors for all our digital devices. This fundamental ability to control current, understood since the mid-20th century, is achieved through doping, adding impurities, much like seasoning plain rice, to create new pathways for electrons. This global challenge is why India, aiming to reduce its 95% import reliance and secure its national tech future, launched the ambitious India Semiconductor Mission in 2021, backed by a $10 billion investment offering 50% project cost incentives to attract giants like Micron and Tata. This isn't India's first foray. Remarkably, its Semiconductor Complex Limited SCL, was only two years behind global cutting-edge tech in the 1980s, even ahead of Taiwan, until a devastating 1989 fire set them back a decade. Fast forward, Zoho Corporation's recent attempt to build a $700 million silicon carbide chip plant in India, crucial for high-power applications like electric vehicles, was sadly suspended in May 2025 after over a year of effort due to challenges in technology path and finding a suitable partner, underscoring the immense complexity. Beyond manufacturing hurdles, consider the hidden environmental cost. A single chip factory consumes electricity and water like a small city and uses potent gases like NF3, which traps heat 17,000 times more powerfully than carbon dioxide. Yet the future is exciting, pushing beyond silicon into advanced materials like silicon carbide and gallium nitride, and revolutionary 3D chip stacking like miniature skyscrapers needed to power the next generation of AI and electric vehicles. India's commitment, despite these challenges, aims for its first domestically produced commercial chip by the end of 2025, targeting a $100 to $110 billion market by 2030, forging a resilient path to tech sovereignty. What do you think India's silicon future will look like?